Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're presenting to you the fourth of the four different combinations of three phase circuits called the delta Y circuit, which means that the source is in a delta formation and the load is in a Y formation. Notice just, just like before when we talk about the delta delta circuit, on the source side, when we have a delta formation, we know that the phase voltage must equal the line voltage. There's no difference between them. And matter of fact, notice we have it here. Line voltage is equal to phase voltage in a delta Y circuit, just as it is in a delta delta circuit, which means that VAB is equal to the phase voltage with a phase angle difference of zero degrees. In other words, it's exactly the same. VAB equals VAB, the voltage from there to there. We can also say that VBC therefore is equal to phase voltage minus 120 degrees. In other words, there's a difference of 120 degrees between VAB and VBC, and again between VBC and VCA. So we're used to that from the delta-delta circuit. Now, for the current, it's a little bit more difficult. First of all, we know that the line currents must also equal the phase currents. Does that make sense? The answer is yes. We can see that the, the current IA, IA here, the line current, must equal the current entering the load right here to the load resistor. IB must equal the current going through here, and IC must equal the current going through there. So we can see that the line currents must equal the phase currents. But to calculate the line current, it can be done in such a way that the result ends up being I sub A is equal to 1 over the square root of 3 times the phase voltage with a phase angle difference of 30 degrees and divided by the impedance of the load. Notice there is going to be a difference in the phase between the phase voltage and the line current, or between the line voltage and the line current, there's going to be a difference of 30 degrees in this configuration. Now you may wonder, how did we end up with this equation? Well, we're going to show you how to do that in the next video. Actually, the next couple of videos, because there's two different ways in which we can calculate the line currents from a delta Y circuit. But just keep in mind, in a delta Y circuit, the line voltage equals the phase voltage and the line currents equal the phase currents. We can very easily see how the line voltages are equal to the phase voltages and then how to calculate the line currents if we know the phase voltage and the impedance. And now we're going to figure out why we came up with that equation in the next video. And that is how it's done.